Well, that's kindness. It's being selfless, caring, compassionate and unconditionally kind. Like love, it takes practice to understand and feel it. We share love with others through kind acts such as smile, a nice word, an unexpected deed or a planned surprise. When we offer these acts to others, we make people feel good, we pass along hope, we promote peace, we show the power of kindness. With that, I'm going to tell you a story. There was once a boy who became angry so frequently with his friends at school that he was constantly getting sent home. His temper was disruptive to the class and hurtful to other students. His father came up with a strategy to try to deter the boy from getting angry so easily. He gave his son a hammer and some nails and told him to hammer a nail into a family's fence every time the boy got angry in the future. Following day, the boy got angry 37 times and had to hammer as many nails as possible into the fence. Over the next few weeks, the boy got tired of hammering nails into the fence and gradually started to control his temper. Slowly, the number of nails he is hammering into the fence started to decrease. The boy realized that it was easier to remain calm when he started to feel angry than to gather the tools, go outside and start hammering. Eventually, the boy stopped losing his temper altogether. His dad noticed and told the boy to remove a nail from the fence every day that he was able to keep his temper under control. Eventually, as the weeks went by, all of the nails had been taken out of the fence. The father and son then stood in front of the broken fence, which was completely scattered with holes. The father turned to his son and said, You've done well, but look at these holes in the fence. They cannot be repaired. When you get angry at other people, it leaves a scar just like the holes you see in front of you. It does not matter if you say I'm sorry 100 times, the injury is still there. The moral of the story is, be kind to others and think before you let your emotions get the best of you.